hey, you know what I like? Pablo or Mall Cop. You know what lame people like? Mike Wazowski. We should make them fight. My name is Seth. I'm Myra. I'm Kyle. I'm Jared. <laughs> I'm Jared. And today on the Big Brain Time Debate Podcast, we're arguing in a uh, Coliseum style death match between Paul Blart Mall Cop and Mike Wazowski. Who would win? Paul Blart is from a movie that probably came out in like 2008 or something. And Mike Wazowski is a cartoon gremlin man. I think he's content. a Cyclops. Yeah, a little Cyclops boy from the film Monsters Inc. The fact that I liked Paul Blart when I first saw it means it came out before 2010. Back when Jared had joy in his soul. Because he knew. Did you stop liking movies in 2010? Did you stop liking good movies in 2010? <laughs> if I ever had joy in my soul. The first point I have is that Paul Blart, like, faced legitimate life or death adversity. You know, there were, like, people in his mall. They had weapons, I believe, guns. From what I'm remembering, and I loved the movie as a kid, you know, Mike Wazowski, I think the biggest thing he faced was like this vaguely euphemistic machine that like sucks your mouth, you know? <laughs> it's like, you know, it, which is pretty disturbing actually if you think about it. But Mike Wazowski is a blue collar working man or Cyclops or whatever he is, monster. He works in the factory all day getting those screams, getting those laughs, whatever, whatever it is. He's, he knows what he's doing. I think he can hold himself up in a fight. He's definitely athletic. We see them leap through swinging doors in the door factory. I think he can do it. He's got claws. Look, at pictures of him. Yeah, he's got claws. On his feet, too. So if he has, you know, multiple appendages to attack with. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying to differentiate between, like, who would win in a fight and, like, who do I respect more? Because Paul, Paul Blart... <laughs> has like you know, he, he's, he's almost kind of got like an arc you know in the beginning of the movie you know you see him at his lowest he's got like, like as a kid i don't know why but that, that like barry manilow song that he listens to like really got to me you know he's got like, a back <laughs> tattoo it's it's you know it's it's a rough time for him so he overcomes that he's got you know i mean he's almost like the the funnier um oh shoot what's his name bruce wells the guy from die hard bruce yeah. wells also, I'd, I'd like to rebuttal the idea that he's a, that Mike Wazowski is a blue collar working man compared to Paul Blart. Um, one of them is a mall cop. He's, he's out on a segue every day, mall copping. Mike seems to just be doing like paperwork. But he also operates, he's, he's operating the doors, isn't he? Oh, he's yeah, not like carrying them away. The machinery does the work for him. Well, yeah, he still has still... to push the the cart full of the you know scream canisters, yeah, and load he's... those up and take them off again. And you, and as a person who's worked in factories before, doing even with light stuff, doing the, doing that, you know, picking those up and putting them down over and over again for several hours will get very tiring, and you got to build up quite the endurance for that. Mm-hmm. So I would say, you know, Mike Wazowski is not just you know slouching around. So one one thing in terms of the terms of the fight that we got to figure out here, Mike's usually on his own. He's not like carrying around a pistol or anything. Paul Blart, he's he's generally got some gear on him. If nothing else, usually he's got a Segway. Are we going to allow the Segway? Does he have a Snickers bar on him? Because he's got the hypoglycemia. How competent is he as a mall cop? I've never seen this movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he. Uh, I guess it depends on when in the movie. I mean, he basically he, stops he, a James Bond villain in the second one. He displays That's he displays cunning. He he does he has like uh like he he like tricks the uh the criminals. I'm thinking of the first movie. I watched the second one like once and I don't know if I really liked it, but you know, he tricks them, he like sets up like a decoy at one point. Um, you know, he's 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 a bit wily. <laughs> I'm sorry, this that movie is just such a meme. It's very funny to hear, <laughs> to hear this conversation. Like that he has a that there was any debate on whether he had athletic problems. Okay, okay, here's the thing though. In the opening scene of the film, he is going through the training course. He's actually really good. He's doing literal flips in the air. He's acrobatic. 
his hypoglycemia got in the way and then he face planted at the end of the course. So if we're talking about athletics here, he's pretty good so long as he has sugar in the system. That's important. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing at people with, with, with hyper, I don't know what you said. Does he ever wield a firearm in that movie or no? He pretends to have a gun. Okay, I know there was like a scene with the holster. Also, I don't know if this is if this is um, how useful this is in a fight, but he's dexterous because he's got serious rock band skills. Mm. Which you know, that's pretty admirable, I would say. Now, I guess now I guess comes the question: Did what what did did he did he have to did Paul Bar have to go through like an academy or something? I heard you guys mention. He did. He went through police training and his hypoglycemia ended up being the reason he was never uh, officially inducted into the police force. Okay. And then Mike, didn't Mike, Mike, Mike and Sully are dropouts. They are college dropouts. Yes. They're college dropouts. Scary. So dropouts. there's no real educational or educational or I guess physical maybe, well, at least in that area. Of expertise. I don't know. I feel like Paul Blart could 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 punt Mike Wazowski like like a Charlie Brown football scene, you know. Except not. But Charlie Brown never hit. Well, actually, I can't say that he did hit it once. He <gasps> did get that football once. When? Okay. Have you ever seen the special? It's magic, Charlie Brown. No. Snoopy decides to learn magic, turns Charlie Brown into the Invisible Man, and when Lucy doesn't see it happen, Charlie Brown kicks the football out from under. Him. Hmm. It was a very interesting special. So, Jared, you mentioned Paul Blart possibly kick punting Mike. I didn't Do you think Mike? That. I mentioned that. Oh, sorry, Joey. Joey did. Sorry. Uh, you mentioned him for punting for punting uh, Mike. I don't. When Mike just bounce back? Do you think Mike could bounce back at him? He seems like a like an anthropomorphized kind of kickball, right? So maybe. Maybe. How bouncy is Mike? <laughs> he has never... Because <laughs> the closest I can think of is the time when he, when he landed uh, on the beam directly on his crotch to make a child laugh in a life-endangering situation. He, he didn't bounce there. He, yeah, he, he didn't bounce. He just came straight down. But he did kind of compress and just... <laughs> That that shows extraordinarily high pain tolerance. The fact that he was able to pretty much get up from that after like a few seconds, and he got his fingers. So in. anything that Paul Blart tries to get him with, he could probably just shrug it off because you know if he could take a full on you know, land like that. Does Mike Wazowski? Um, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> the, I'm, I'm trying to to word this diplomatically. Does he have anatomical reason why that would hurt? Anyway, that's another debate. I'm going to have to say the Paul Blart side one. <laughs> it might have to do with the fact that we just talked about Paul Blart for like 85% of the time. We did. We didn't really have a ton of proof that uh, Mike could do anything against Paul. So yeah, good work, guys. 